Greetings, we'll cover a few details about John Bradfield and his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, career, persona, notable works, accolades, and demise. Jobs Crew, John Bradfield, an Australian engineer, is best known for being the main proponent of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, whose design and construction he oversaw. From 1891 to 1933, he was employed with the New South Wales Department of Public Works. In 1924, he became the first person to receive an engineering doctorate from the University of Sydney. Other major projects he was involved in include Brisbane Story Bridge, the Cataract Dam, finished 1907, and the Burrinjuk Dam, completed 1928. Completed 1940. Also known as Dr. John Job Crew Bradfield, famous as designer of Sydney Harbour Bridge, born December 26, 1867, Sandgate, Australia, died September 23, 1943, Gordon, Australia. Father, John Edward Bradfield, mother, Maria Crew, spouse, Edith Jenkins, children, Bill Bradfield, nationality, Australian, education, the University of Sydney, business partners, Ralph Freeman, Thomas S. Tate. His parents, John Edward Bradfield, a Crimean War veteran, and his wife Maria Crew, welcomed him into the world, on December 26, 1867 in Sandgate, Queensland, Australia. He had a large family. He attended North Ipswich State School Nipswich Grammar School in Queensland on a scholarship. When he completed the Sydney Senior Public Examination in 1885, he received a gold medal in chemistry. He graduated from the University of Sydney in 1886. He received the university's gold medal and a Bachelor of Engineering degree from St. Andrews College in 1889. He worked for Queensland Railways Department from 1889 to 1891 and began his career as a draftsman. After being married, he was hired as a temporary draftsman in the New South Wales Department of Public Works in 1891. He was made a regular draftsman in 1895. He graduated from the University of Sydney in 1896 with a first-class honours degree in engineering and the university medal. In the early 1900s, he participated in a number of Cataract Dam and Burrinjuk Dam projects as an assistant engineer. He presented 22 letters of recommendation from distinguished individuals when he applied for the Engineering Foundation Chair at the University of Queensland in 1910, but he was not successful. He put out a cantilever design for building a suspension bridge to connect North Sydney and Sydney in 1912, along with the concept for such a bridge. He was chosen to serve as the chief engineer for the construction of the Metropolitan Railway when it was approved. In 1914, he traveled abroad to investigate fresh ideas for urban rail networks. He put out a comprehensive plan for Sydney's railway in 1915 that included electrifying suburban lines, constructing an underground railroad, and building the Sydney Harbour Bridge. He received excellent accolades for the most of his ideas, but because of World War I, they were all put on hold. He tried to build the Civil Aviation School to train pilots for overseas duty during World War I. The Sydney Harbour Bridge Bill was passed by the government in 1922, and building of the bridge and his suggested plan for an underground train system got underway at the same time. The construction of a tunnel as a component of the network of underground railways, also began in 1923. The University of Sydney awarded him the first PhD in engineering in 1924, in recognition of his thesis, The City and Suburban Electric Railroads and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The railway commissioners abruptly forced him to resign in 1930, but the cabinet kept his employment status, allowing him to go on supervising the bridge's construction until it was completed in 1932. After 42 years of service at the New South Wales Department of Public, he retired in July 1933. He was hired 
as a consulting engineer in 1934, to help build the Story Bridge, which spans the Brisbane River. The bridge was built starting in 1935, and was opened in 1940. He wed Edith Jenkins, a Brisbane resident, and the daughter of John Ventress Jenkins, on May 28, 1891. Six children were born to them, five males, Edward, Anthony, Alan, Stanley, and Keith, and one daughter, Mary. His youngest son, Keith Noel Everill, a civil aviation engineer with the Department of Civil Aviation, was in charge of changing Sydney's Alexandra Canal. He helped found the Sydney University Engineering Society in 1895 and presided over the organization between 1902 and 1919. His proposed system for the city saw its first triumph on December 20, 1926, when two subterranean train stations, St. James Station and Museum Station, were opened. Other stations would open in subsequent years the Sydney Harbour Bridge, which opened on March 20, 1932, is regarded as his most significant accomplishment. The primary component of the bridge's roadway was the Bradfield Highway, which bears his name. He received the Peter Nicole Russell Memorial Medal in 1933 from the Australian Institution of Engineers, which he had created in 1919. In 1933, he was made a companion of the Order of St. Michael and St. George. He received the Telford Gold Medal from the Institute of Civil Engineers in 1934. The Queensland Institute of Engineers Lifetime Achievement Award was given to him in 2007. On September 23, 1943, Bradfield passed away at his Gordon, a suburb of northern Sydney, home. He was buried next to his daughter, Mary Margaret, in St. John's Anglican Church in Gordon after a memorial service at St. Andrew's Cathedral. He is buried next to his late wife Edith, who passed away in 1954.